Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTNHD, and yes, welcome back to Hands On with the latest build from Windows 10 Insider. And the latest build is actually 10122. And let's see what's new. So off the bat, when you guys click on the start menu, it looks like Microsoft have has added uh, right on top of the power button the file explorer and settings i'm assuming because these two options are the mostly used and i do find myself using these two a lot and i constantly either click on the icon on the taskbar for the file explorer or i go into the notification center to get into the settings option right here uh, a couple of things that I noticed is that you don't have the double arrows anymore to expand or stretch out the, the start menu. Uh, most likely the stretching, you, you don't have any options to do any uh, modifications on the start menu. So this is what you get. You can't stretch it any long. So that's, that's okay. Uh, if you go to all apps, I noticed a couple of things. It looks like the insider hub has been redesigned. It looks a little cleaner, it looks a little better. This is pretty awesome, I like this a lot. Uh, gives you uh, details of your profile, the announcements of the latest build stuff. Um, if you go in here, all the announcements, all the alerts, and I believe this option right here is your own profile. So that's pretty cool, all the achievements that you've done so far within the Insider Program Preview. You will see it here, I already completed one quest, so that's okay. Uh, I also noticed this other strange looking thing which is called the xbox.tcui when I launched it nothing really happens you just get a nice little black dialog box so I'm kind of wondering what this is you still have the xbox uh, icon all the way in the bottom right here you still got that option but this tcui thing I'm, I'm kind of uh, I, I want to know what this is so I guess we have to find out later on uh, next thing that I noticed is that they fixed the gibberish lettering uh, inside the file explorer on the last build which is uh, I think 174 this right here like gibberish it has some crazy symbols so they fixed that uh, and the next thing that I noticed at, at the taskbar they added uh, the explorer which is actually going to be Microsoft Edge but they haven't changed the name yet but they added it back into the taskbar um, also it looks like they changed the way Cortana looks so that it doesn't have the circle anymore inside the box and if you shrink it down into the icon the icon is not a circle It's now a nice little uh, it looks like a lollipop or hey a magnifying glass and uh, within the taskbar the Microsoft Store the store beta the color changed it used to be uh, like a nice grayish color now it's blue and within the settings, uh, there's a huge gap on or where all the where all the icons are at. Like you see this huge gap. That's really weird. If you shrink it down, you, you, the gap goes away. But if you kind of expand it, it, they just put everything right in the middle. That's kind of weird. Uh, one another thing that they kind of added as well as fix is for I know in the last couple of builds for developers, this used to crash. It looks like it's back, so that's pretty cool. Uh, developer used to be right on, right between Recovery and Windows Defender. It looks like they dropped it down. Uh, they also added the activation option within the updates and security, so you're able to change the product key. And uh, that's it, guys. That's the only thing that I noticed so far with the latest build. If you guys have noticed anything else, leave it, leave it at the bottom in the comment section because I'm always willing to learn. This is like a learning experience between us, guys. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next build. Peace out.